Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Polymatrix. So I just learned about this and I was so excited I, I had to make a video about it. I know I'm a little late to the party, but apparently you can install an OS to... Uh, for the Pinebook Pro, you can install an OS to an NVMe drive. Uh, specifically Manjaro is what I'm working with. Um, I was inspired by another one, another person's video, um, Music Studio Factory, or Music Factory Studio. Uh, he had a video about this. It was about four minutes long. Um, his steps really didn't work out for me, and so I had to do a little more research. So I just wanted to walk you through uh, all of these steps that I went through to get this functional. So first things first, I am using a micro SD card to boot to Manjaro Mate and running off of that particular card. Uh, so if we do an OSB OK, uh, you'll see I've got MMC, BLK1, P1, and P2. So that's my uh, boot partition, this is a 64 gigabyte PNY card, and it's got a 5.6 gigabyte uh, swap space. So this is where I am running the OS from. If you'll notice here, you will see NVMe 0 in 1. Uh, this is, I'll go ahead and pull up Gparted for you to show you. This NVMe drive is already installed. It is completely blank. It pulls up, there we go. So this is the micro SD card that I'm running from currently, and this is the NVMe drive. So there's nothing on here, it's completely unallocated, it's a blank drive. Uh, I will go through and show you how to install the drive real quick. Okay, so this is the bottom of my Pinebook Pro. Uh, I've taken the, the micro SD card out. You'll also notice that the eMMC module is normally right here is unplugged so we are going to install the this is my NVMe drive the same one I used when I originally installed this uh, about three years ago um, so an important part of this is you've got to have this NVMe adapter here so currently it has nothing in it uh, you'll notice it has different lengths uh, I apologize in advance for the screen rocking, um, for the camera rocking. There's not really much I can do as I don't have a way of stabilizing the camera. So I'm just going to try to be as gentle as possible. First thing we want to do is unscrew our take these three screws out. These are what holds the adapter to system uh, to, the, to the case. This right here is the screw that we want to remove. Okay, this is important because we need this, this little piece right here. So this here is the piece that is going to uh, lock our NVMe drive in place. Zoom back out. That there. So the way I'm doing this is I'm having the thick side on top up here, and the thin side is going to be facing the bottom. Just like this. Clam shell it shut. And we're going to take our screw. Really helps if you have a magnetized toolkit here. There we go. Now the NVMe drive is in, is technically installed, but it is not secured. So let's go ahead and try to secure it. I like to do the top screw first. This allows a little back and forth flexing over here if you need it. And if the top is in place and the bottom screw is in place, then this one will be in place. So, sorry about the shake. Alright, with that done, then take 
our case. Let me case it back up. Oh, one thing, I don't know if anybody else has this. I, uh, I've got some thermal uh, padding here. I adjusted to move around on top of this to make sure that it's covering these chips uh, and getting a little bit of heat transfer. I sometimes have my system uh, lock up into a kernel panic. I think it's heat related for sustained periods. So if you can get some thermal pads on there to pull it to the outside of this case, that helps. Seems to fix the issue for me at least. Yeah, they're not Okay, and that's it. We'll flip it back over and power it back on. So with the drive installed, let's go ahead and run through the installation process. So we'll clear this, we're going to run sudo pacman, tac s, and we're going to do manjaro arm installer. And this should install, you should get the prompt for manjaro arm, um, it's going to be a very small package, we're going to say yes and we'll run through it. You might need to install dependencies. If so, that's fine. Just press Y and then click, uh, and then press enter, and you'll go ahead and install those dependencies. So with that done, we will then run a bash. We're gonna do sudo bash manjaro tag on installer. Oh, I learned how to spell sudo. Sudo, sudo. All right, then you're gonna get this TUI, this is a text user interface, sir. And we are going to scroll down to Pinebook Pro. You will pick your options for which you wish to install for Manjaro. Um, I personally, I like Mate. It's like GNOME 2 back from when I was learning Linux uh, in the um, late 2000s or early 2010s. So this is the one I'm going to go with. It's what I'm currently using here. The light theme is a custom theme I set up so you'd be able to distinguish them once it is done. And we are going to enter the username. Whatever group you want it part of, I'm going to add myself to the wheel group just for now. Uh, the desired full name is Polymatrix. We're going to set up our password, which is definitely not the password. And we're going to set up a root user password. Also, don't make it something simple like password. install this. Now it says SD card, EMMC, or USB. Be sure to, the correct drive is selected. And this, if your NVMe drive is installed, you should see NVMe 0 and 1 or something to that effect. And we are going to use Extended 4. I tried BTRFS and the system wouldn't boot. I didn't put a whole lot of effort into troubleshooting why, but I can tell you that Extended 4 works. I'm happy with it. I don't need redundancy on this system. It's This is a my Pinebook Pro is a kind of a toy, so this is this is just for fun. And no, I'm not going to encrypt because I'm not doing anything that's that critical on this system. All right, choose your time zones. So we are in. I say we. I am in Eastern Time. So. Time zone, obviously, you pick yours, 
and your keyboard layout. Uh, I'm also US. X11 keyboard layout. I'm picking US for this as well. And the desired host name for your system. So we will name this Mate and VME. How about that? Just for clarity. So this gives you a brief rundown of what the system is going to do and all the changes it's going to make. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter now. And you'll see that it's going to begin the process. It's going to pull its package list together. All right, now it is pulling the latest Manjaro ARM image. One of the great things about this is that it will go ahead and pull all of the core packages needed and install them and update them. So you'll notice it's pulled 576 packages. It's going to go ahead and grab the latest versions of this for your Manjar Mate installation. Okay, you're gonna notice some errors here. Don't stress it, these are, uh, these are normal. This has happened every time I've done this, so uh, I wouldn't say it's not a big deal personally. Now we need to switch to sudo. Get our root access here, and we We are going to visit a website here. Okay, so this web page is a little bit older, uh, basically to get it working the way we want. I did not go through these steps. I actually just flashed the SPI image. So we're gonna download the SPI binary. open this up and you'll notice it is in the downloads folder. So let's go back to our terminal. I'm going to CD over to home, polymatrix, downloads. And then we are going to copy our DD command. So just copy this. We'll do control shift V to paste it into the terminal. Press enter and it'll run here for just a minute. And it is done. All right, so with that being done, we should be ready to give it a restart. So let's go ahead and go up here. And we can click shut down from here, or we can do it the terminal way and say shut down now. We'll go ahead and start terminating everything. And we are powered off. All right, just to show you the funny business here. I have to use my tweezers to get my micro SD card out it does not have any kind of ejection mechanism so I just have to pull it out 
good old trusty PNY. Been using it for years. All right, we're going to power button here. And you should see a green light right there. If all has gone well, if all has gone well, we should be booting back into Manjaro Mate. It's looking promising. All right, so we will type in the password we created, which is definitely not password. And you will notice that this is a brand new install, not connected to any Wi-Fi networks. Um, the theme is different, as you'll notice. Let's open up our terminal here. Zoom in a little bit. There's our host name. And now we will connect it to our Wi Fi real quick. I'm going to blur this. You'll have to forgive me. Now we are connected to our Wi-Fi up here. Notice in the upper right hand corner. Now with that done, we will go sudo pacman syuu. I think this will have everything we need. Alright, so sudo pacman s will say departed. That was not already installed. Desktop mime type. Let's go to here. System tools. Departed. Let's go to prompt us for credentials. here there we go there's our zram that's our swap our boot and our root partitions are all right here if you prefer the graphical version this is gparted showing you that the it's very small and allocated space uh, here we go boot and root so that's it thank you for watching this episode i'm much more excited now about the Pimer Pro may perhaps a little more often, um, maybe not a ton, but a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and I hope that it helps you out. Thank you, and have a good day.